emergency contraception in case of breastfeeding women. LNG that is levonorgestrel has no adverse effects on breastfeeding or on the infants. Breastfeeding women should be advised not to breastfeed and to express and discard milk for a week if they have taken ulipristal acetate. Breastfeeding women have relatively higher risk of uterine perforation during the insertion of intrauterine contraception than non-breastfeeding women. However, the absolute risk of perforation is less. Insertion of a copper T IUCD is relatively contraindicated between 48 hours and 28 days after the delivery. Coming to choice of emergency contraceptives. The best and most effective emergency contraception is copper T IUCDs and it can be inserted up to 5 days after the first unprotected sexual intercourse in a natural menstrual cycle or up to 5 days after the earliest likely date of ovulation whichever is the later. LNG EC can also be used within 72 hours of unprotected intercourse if a woman presents more than 72 hours but up to 5 days that is within 120 hours. It is not effective after the ovulation period so if a woman requests emergency contraception in post ovulatory period the option is to go only for copper T IUCDs. If she is not a suitable candidate for IUCD or if she refuses she should be offered immediate quick start of suitable hormonal contraception with following up of pregnancy testing. If woman is not sure of dates, then also emergency contraception can be prescribed followed by a regular quick start for contraception. Here is a picture depicting the time of cycle when various emergency contraceptives are most effective. Here from 0 to 30 are the menstrual days. At day 14, it is depicted by ovulation and followed by the LH surge here. So, LNG and UPA act pre-ovulatory whereas IUCD can be effective even after the ovulation that is post-ovulatory period. How do you follow up in these cases? After giving emergency contraception, if menses resumed up to 7 days of due date, advise and initiate and continue the other forms of contraception whichever is feasible for the patient. If the next menstrual period is delayed by more than 7 days and it is lighter than usual and it is associated with abdominal pain and not typical of dysmenorrhea, then consider doing UPT in such cases. Effect on pregnancy. Pregnancy may exist prior to taking emergency contraception or EC may fail or pregnancy can result from intercourse after using emergency contraception as well. However, this has no, no known adverse effects on the pregnancy and it is not associated with increased risk of congenital anomalies or ectopic pregnancy should pregnancy occur. Coming to the important points or the take home message, emergency contraception prevents pregnancy after an unprotected intercourse. Pregnancy is the only absolute contraindication to its use. Mm -hmm.